There's nothing quite like the GAA in Asia for fun, football and a wonderful coming together of different cultures. Where else would you hear shouts like this after winning? Shanghai put on quite a show for 600 players and there were star names from Ireland acting as celebrity banished yours, like Mayo's Cora Staunton, former Cavan player and now AFL coach Nicholas Walsh and the dub who lifted Sam five years ago loving the AGG. Yeah, it's been great. Um, it's great to see obviously the Irish coming together from all the different communities over uh, throughout Asia. Um, everyone seems to be having a great time, you know, great weather. Uh, good standard of football, but yeah, great great weekend so far. There's a few dubs you've bumped into, no doubt. Yeah, I bumped into a few dubs. Yeah, but that's a that's a good good mix here now. In fairness, so uh, yeah, I've kind of kind of posted my allegiance to Hong Kong for the uh, for the tournament. So I'm hoping they'll go well. And they are going well. Yeah, particularly did a little bit of coaching there with the women's team there during the week down in Hong Kong. So you know, hopefully that will pay off. Hong Kong were there in force with players from all over the world, including some from Ireland, working for Irish companies who sponsor the AGG, like an Armagh County player delighted to be able to play abroad at a good level. Yeah, that's the, that's the good thing. Uh, when I was moving out, I, I didn't have a clue what, what the standard would be like, but uh, I've heard of the likes of Singapore and stuff like that before, but I, I was more than happy to see a few lads turn up to kick a ball around because you... You do miss it, like even if a couple of weeks off at home, like you, you do be missing the football. And events like this with the crowds here is terrific. Oh, it's brilliant. Couldn't believe it. Uh, I'd heard of the Asian Games before because my cousin had been out before with Singapore, but I didn't know the setup was this good. Like the surroundings, the pitch is brilliant. Like it's great, great, great atmosphere here. Like. And how are you enjoying the FEXCO Asian Gaelic Games? Great. Um, I've been to many different tournaments in Europe and America, so it's definitely up there with the best, I think. Um, the quality of football is actually really good. Um, there's some really, really strong teams here, but it's great also. There's a good international feel about it, which I feel is actually different to other tournaments. Um, we ourselves have a lot of local girls on the team, Australian as well, and the UK. So, yeah, it's great um, to you know bring everybody together and... Um, promote our games in such a big region so it's a fantastic opportunity for the GA as well. On to the showpiece finals where history was made when host club Shanghai won the senior men's football competition for the very first time in the 21 years of the FEXCO Asian Gaelic Games. There were dramatic scenes as the Blues came from behind to beat Hong Kong with a late goal. The celebrations were enthusiastic and the captain, a passionate hometown Shanghai player, was already thinking about how the achievement can bring more Chinese to the GAA. Of course, yeah, I always think um, I play Irish football, but I'm a Chinese, I'm a Shanghainese. Like I would love to promote this game to all my Chinese fellows and that means a lot to me and because I used to hear from the kids, our Chinese kids training, they thought this is just a foreign people's, foreigners game until they saw me to play and that was my first time here. They said, oh, if Jack could play that level, maybe I could one day. So I kind of think that's some of the responsibility. So you think this can help you to spread the game here? Yes, of course, yeah. So the only reason I keep myself in the A level, uh, keep training, uh, despite I have a busy work and I have a kid. So th that's the only thing I want to keep going because I want more and more people join me. And that's the only way to set an example uh, for other people to follow. And I'm sure this game can be very good here. Like if we could have a soccer league in China, which is not from China anyway, originally why can't we have a Gaelic one day finally the ladies football decider was as always a thriller full of goals and drama Singapore Lions in white and red up against Seoul Gales who hit the front early on thanks mainly to Natalia Highland but Singapore were determined to win the Lisa Orsi Cup named after the Derry girl who tragically died after winning the AGG in 2015 it means everything. Ever since Lisa passed, um, 
this is, you know, I won the cup with Lisa two years ago. Um, last year was um, devastating not to be able to win it for her. But we knew what we had to do this year. We trained out three, four times a week. Um, blood, sweat and tears. Um, we brought four teams with us this year. And we've done amazingly well. And to go up later on and bring the cup back to Singapore, it's, it's everything I could ask for and more. And with Lisa's family here? Yeah, so Dennis, Sharon, Jonathan, they all made the trip out and we're all super close with them and we had their support from the sidelines and we played against Derry yesterday some of the girls that Lisa was friends with so that was super special as well and um, so Lisa's been with us the whole competition so it's it's just an amazing feeling to be able to do this and and to have won I, I'm, I'm still in shock I can't believe it <laughs>